as a soldier and messenger of the Lord of the Galaxies, I say greetings. This series will serve to prove that both religious adherents and scientists are merely believers. Religious adherents believe in God or the Lord. Scientists believe in their mere unproven theories or simply neo-mythology. Arthur Wellesley, the Duke of Wellington, once said, educate men without religion and you make of them but clever devils. I agree wholeheartedly and will prove that intelligent design is the best argument for the believers in God to use against the arrogant atheist scientists or clever devils of your world. Logic, reason, and scriptures will be the rubric or framework by which I will accomplish this. Mashallah. It is the will of Allah. Firstly, let's firmly establish what the term theory means in Webster's Dictionary. 3a, a hypothesis assumed for the sake of argument or investigation. b, an unproved assumption or conjecture. C. A body of theorems presenting a concise, systematic view of a subject. 4. The general or abstract principles of a body of facts, a science, or art. 5. Abstract thought. Speculation. Yeah. As is crystal clear in these actual fact definitions, the theory of relativity, the theory of evolution, the Big Bang theory, and all other theories are all fairy tales, or to coin a phrase from the atheist scientist Richard Dawkins, the science delusions. Let's now define the term fact in Webster's Dictionary. Three, the quality of being actual. Actuality, a question of fact, hinges on evidence. 4a, something that has actual existence. B, an actual occurrence. In light of these definitions, I say that there are three types of fact personal facts, global facts, and what I call super or mega facts. A personal fact stems from a human being's conscious or subconscious mind. For instance, one may feel angry but hide physical signs of this from others. The anger is an actual fact for that individual and only that individual, for no one else can see or prove it. A global fact is one that can be observed and verified by nearly all upon the earth. For example, humans drive cars and fly in airplanes. However, these two types of facts, personal and global, fluctuate or change over short periods of time. Personal anger may become joy in a matter of hours. And centuries ago, even decades ago, humans rode horses for cars and planes did not yet exist. So humans who build their entire personal philosophy or framework for truth upon these two types of facts is equivalent to building a house with straw or feathers. 
which are easily blown away in the wind. However, building a house with mega or super facts, facts that are constant or perpetual, is equivalent to building it with iron and steel so that the wind has no effect upon the house. An example of a mega fact is that all living things need water to live. Yeah, the Lord or God's words are filled with mega facts such as this. Alhamdulillah, all praise is due to Allah. Science legend Albert Einstein once said, Science without religion is lame. Religion without science is blind. He also said, never lose a holy curiosity. Well, Albert, it is a gargantuan tragedy that the powers that be on your planet in this day have abandoned your holy or divine curiosity and elected to remove the opposing intelligent design argument from their schools of maleducation. They have diabolically chosen to indoctrinate the youth of this new millennium with unproven theories or mythology in order to bolster a sinister agenda of opposing the Lord of the Galaxies at all cost. However, this soldier and messenger of his will deliver the whole and complete truth to the human children of today and any other humans that desire it until Satan sends his demons to attempt to physically silence this skin suit that we currently occupy before the impending war of Armageddon is complete. In closing, my young divergent comrades, question everything that your teachers are telling you in school. Always seek and examine the opposing arguments from the opposing scientists of every branch of science. However, the Lord of the galaxies delivers eternally cohesive arguments as you will discover in this series. Alhamdulillah. I leave you with a quote from a fellow proponent of intelligent design, Albert Einstein. That deep emotional conviction of the presence of a superior reasoning power which is revealed in the incomprehensible universe, forms my idea of God. Yeah, Albert was wise indeed.